position will release the subscapularis. Now, you're treating the subscapularis as it lies on the anterior surface of that scapula. Now, the patient here has placed the hand behind the head. The reason for that is I'm going to control the arm movement or the, or the upper limb through the elbow, and I can still add a good degree of movement to find that position of ease, which we'll find in a second. If you decide, you can take the hand away from the back of the head, and you can add more movements, again, as you see fit, depending on where that patient's position of ease is. So we place the hand behind the head. We now need to press on to subscapularis, which we're accessing inferiorly to the axilla and anteriorly to the tissus dorsum. So as the patient breathes out, we'll add some downward compression until we contact subscapularis. And now, once the patient has reported their pain level, we need to find their position of ease. And we can do that by finding a variety of different positions. And for this, we've added some shoulder flexion and some external rotation and some adduction. Once we've found that position of ease, we'll hold this around 90 seconds to two minutes. And now you can actually relax your pressure and your palpation and make sure the patient concentrates on their breathing. Once the time has elapsed, from here, you gently and slowly put them back to what was their neutral position, which was here. And then we can add techniques to this area that can aid quality and quantity of movement. And there are a variety of different techniques that you can use to achieve this. And also, don't forget to treat other areas such as cervical spine into the shoulder, lats, and the thoracic spine as well to improve that quality and quantity of movement.